With us now is the fabulous Harlan Friedman. <laughs> he doesn't even need an introduction anymore. I could just turn on the cameras and you all know who he is. Hi, Harlan. Can I just be Harlan? Yes. Yes. Like, right? Like Prince. Yeah. Yes, why Madonna. not? Are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm so ready for that. Harlan. Yeah, I'm going to change my name to a symbol, I think. I love that. Yeah. What's up? You have your own brand now, too. Soul Free. Yeah, Soul Free. We're doing all kinds of new things. Is this year one or year two? Celebrating this is, the this anniversary? Like, yeah, we're like we're like almost two years in. Congratulations. Yeah, selling at retail now. You know how weird that is to see people you don't know wearing wearing your stuff that happened recently right because i yeah. saw on social media that you yep. saw somebody that was wearing your brand yeah and i like i like low-key videoed them yeah without them knowing right and blew like, it up oh, yeah that's my brand yeah kind of creepy but fun yeah. i like this this whole acid wash thing is like yeah. really coming in to play tie-dye bright colors the quality of your embroidery is important right. to you right we have we have secret places we go okay. to do the embroidery yeah i should say i do it by hand yeah, but, you should say that. Yeah, I do it by hand. You do it by hand. I do it by hand. Yeah. <laughs> I brought you some stuff. You did? You want some stuff? You want presents? Uh, yeah, I love presents. I brought you the newest, the 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 Soul Free oh, Rosé hat. Oh, Sophie. Sophie, 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 right. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. And then check this out. Are you ready? Soul Free. What did you say? That's the Rosé hat. Rosé. <clears throat> rosé hat for summer. Rosé. I like that. You know, it's my fa one of my favorite colors. These actually are my two favorite colors. Right? That's yeah. why we made it. I love that. Right. That's so cute. And you want to guess what's in my hands? Can you oh, guess? Oh, yes. What do you think? Something that smells good. So good. We got, we brought you the new Soul Free Candle, <gasps> a collaboration with <gasps> Truby Hill Candle Company. I love that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember, because uh, we've been friends for such yeah. a long, long time ago, you know that I love candles. Yeah, I know. I know. Right? So technically, it's technically, scrumptious. it's like <laughs> champagne tones with orange blossom and mimosa under wow. things, whatever they call it. And I just told, I just told the guys at Truby Hill, I was like, you know, when you walk into like the greatest hotel in the world and that's you get hit with that scent, like. yeah. I go, that's what I want the scent to be. All right. Truby Hill. Yeah. And they were like, I got you, dog. Woo. Yeah. You've always been a trendsetter though um, and a tastemaker ever since I've known you it's been forever that you just have your own way about you you're ahead of the curve you like fun things you like style you like fashion um is that because of mama gail or like how did that start for you you know to be honest with you like so we could be honest like of course, we're always we're honest friends. with each other like i was and i, I mean i'm always going to be a fat kid totally so like the normal stuff that like i always wanted never like really like fit right like the the cavaricis weren't a good look for me when i was in like fifth grade so I was always really into like sneakers and sunglasses and accessories. So I would just make sure those always looked like crazy fire. And then I would kind of put those with like the husky Levi jeans that fit. And I just kind of uh, kind of went from there. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just honest. So, no, I appreciate <laughs> that. So it was that moment that you knew that an accessory could still make you a cool kid. Yeah, yeah. And I really got into sneakers. You did. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah I mean, you like... Sneaker culture now is like a really big deal, but mm -hmm. you were really into it way before. Yeah. What was yeah. your first pair of, did you have like a Nike swoosh, a red or a blue? Or were you after that by about 10 years? So my big first story, and I'll make it quick. Sure. Um, you know, the Jordan 1s came out. Okay. All right. So it's 85, I believe. And I wanted them so bad. Like I had to have them. Otherwise, I, I definitely, like I spoke to my doctor, I would have died if I didn't <laughs> have the ones. And so I get my first pair of ones. And I'm so excited. I lace them up. And I mean, they were like $60 at the time. Like, you know, parents didn't spend $60 on shoes then. You know, it was $30 and that was it. So I finally, I, I, I conned them into getting them for me. I wear them to school. They hurt so much. and But I still wore them, right? I wore them again the next day and the next day. And by day four, they had me at the doctor's office. They had to do surgery on my foot to like freeze my foot and cut the blisters off. Because they hurt so badly, but it didn't stop me, Donna. Were they the, were I kept they, wearing those shoes. Were they the wrong size? No, or? they were the right size. Just right? you know, you just had to break I them had in. A wide, a wide, no foot. arch foot, and this was a like flat, you know, the Jordan one. But I knew, like, as much as the foot surgery hurt, yeah, like with my father, if I like didn't wear those and put them in the closet, that would have hurt like twice as much. So I wore you the went shoes. With it. 
Now, right. have you shared that story with him yet? Because I know you know a lot of the people in sneaker culture. Has word um, got back to him yet? No, no, okay. no. MJ is, uh, you know, MJ is kind of at a different tier. He doesn't really take too many calls. But I think he would take your call, Harley. I know, I should try. Because a lot of famous people take try. your call. I think I we should try. call. We should put that on the right list. Right now, well, let's go and let's just do yeah. it. I was talking to Gabby Douglas the other day, yeah. and I asked her, I said, have you met the people that you did your gymnastics yeah. routine to? Because she's got to know every single beat. Yep. I think anybody that's had to have surgery because you were so passionate about his shoes, he should, he should right? give you a call. You know, I know how to get yeah. him. Okay. If I play golf with him and right. tell him I'll play 50000 a hole, I will definitely get MJ <laughs> to take my call. There you go. Let's yeah. work on that. Yeah. Uh, but in the meantime, you are doing fabulous things. And a lot of celebrities uh, do rely on you for their public relations and things. You're always seen um, with great people You because you yourself are so great. What's happening with North Fork? You you know, so many film festivals. How many people, how many festivals oh my rely God. on you? This, well, this was year. Was like Tribeca yours and North yeah, Fork is this yours. This year was, and... you know, the fact that we were able to do events again was amazing. And we were part of the team that brought Tribeca back this year. You know, we were on the brand merchandising side of it. And, you know, just to be the first event in New York City again. And we're up in Washington Heights with Lin-Manuel Miranda and the cast of In the Heights. Yeah, that's pretty big deal. For the deal. premiere, which was just unbelievable. We were the first show back at Radio City Music Hall when Tribeca presented the uh, Dave Chappelle documentary. And they did a, a hip hop like tribute to all five boroughs with Fat Joe, with Q-Tip, with um, De La Soul from Long Island, uh, Method Man, Ghostface Killer, so many different artists. And it was just, just to be back in the mix of things felt so good. So, I mean, I applaud everybody at Tribeca for, uh, for pulling that off, 250 shows, wow. 248 outdoor and two indoor and all sold out. I mean, it was really special. And now um, we're getting ready for the North Fork TV Festival. Well, I'm excited for yeah. that as well because I always enjoy doing that too Yeah, with that's you. a fun one. Um, I love when you invite me places. Like you invited yeah. me to Hugo Boss and we yeah. had to work that together. Yeah. So I just wanted to invite you here, especially today, because it's the first day that we've been working with the, the new look of everything. And I'm feeling it. You're feeling it? Yeah. It's a new vibe. It's, it's a, a vibe. new day. It's a vibe. Right? Yeah. So I think maybe we'll even have uh, some new music popping in. But this is great. And um, I'm excited about this. Right? So Rosé making me right. feel so happy and my heart so soul free is the way to be absolutely so, i appreciate you and i adore you thank you for having me um and thank you thank you for opening up all the doors that you open up we have such a good time when we're together and you that's what friends fun. that's what friends are for yeah you know especially in this industry sometimes you need someone to you know invite you yeah just be just invite somebody to the party yeah you know yeah keep smiling donna keep smiling i hear you harlan um thank you for everything so if you have an idea to start and launch your own brand, or if you're that fat kid and you don't feel as popular as you want to be, accessorize. Work for Harlan and it will work for you. Thanks for watching. Hey.